Okay. So, I've got a real problem with this Honda hitch. I mean, it's located in the most awkward spot. I'm trying to get down here to get a ball on there with it in your arms caught on the rack and everything. It's really in a bad location. Um, it's down low, which I'm sure is a good design in terms of uh, not causing your quad to flip and stuff when you're pulling things. But And it works fine. I mean, I've been using it, but I want to put a heavier trailer on here uh, in the future and I really don't want to be getting down in here to hook it up so the plan is to you know, I want to remove this from the from the quad take it into the garage and see if I can modify this thing there's a US company called strong made that makes various ATV hitches but check out the lower right corner of the price for the Honda one. It's $113. That's $150 Canadian. And yeah, it uh, looks like a good quality, very strong unit linked into the uh, axle and everything, but steep price. Plus, you got to handle shipping. <sighs> well, I'm <clears throat> back at the quad here. I'm really not liking what I'm seeing. For some reason this whole bracket is canted down. And you can see that it's exaggerated even more by adding this receiver. And then if I take a switchable and that you know if I had a tow ball here I'd probably right at this point I'd probably be happy. I may end up having to go that route just buy a just buy a straight inch and a quarter pipe and and a piece of inch and a half pipe and make something like that myself. I, I, I really don't like it. Um, the only option I can think of is if I could take this all apart. I mean this might come up a bit when it tightens but I don't think very much. So these are the two removable uh, tow ball pieces I've come up with for my Honda ATV receiver. Um, as I say in the previous video, if I had a tow ball really close to the receiver, I'd have been happy. And these come up really tight. So we'll go out and I'll show you them inserted in the uh, in the receiver in the in the Honda. So what they look like. So I got a removable two inch and a removable one and seven eight. So I believe these are considered a class two. This is only inch and a quarter, and it's on the end here. I've got a inch and a quarter square tube inside inch and a half for a little stiffness where the ball goes through on, uh, on both. So this whole piece here starting with the bolts in this lower bracket and upper bracket is the original piece that Honda provided. And where this bolt is is where the tow ball would have been. So before there would have been a tow ball right at that point. So I've extended this out a little bit, but not too much. But it's enough to make a difference here at the back of the uh, of the quad. So this is the uh, two inch ball goes in, and then the pinhole lines up there. Take that out, switch it over to one one and seven eighths. I think that's uh, I think that's pretty slick. Now I've seen it. There's a commercial one there that I have a video of called made by. Um, it's probably better than this. It it involves wrapping around the top of the axle and the U-bolt, and incorporating an, uh, a bolt in this area here in the in the axle, and add stuff. It's probably better and stronger. But I I think this 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 is going to be I think this is going to be adequate. I haven't tested it yet. Now the other thing. That, that should be noticed is the reason this does cant down a little bit is because when you put weight on the back you'll see that it pivots up. So that's why Honda automatically has it, has it canted down so that it, it pivots on the axle. Anyway, I think that's going to be a whole lot better. I can stand here and put, put the trailer on a lot easier. 
So I'm just going to offer a brief explanation on what I did here to this original Honda tow hitch. So that three quarter inch hole here, this is the original hole for the hitch. And you can see that this, these pieces here constitute the original piece of a Honda hitch, which fit on the back of the quad. So what I didn't like was bending down in underneath and putting the tow ball on this close down in underneath the axle. So I bought this piece here, which is a simple class two inch and a quarter IID inside diameter square tube. And I had Buddy Troy from work. He stick welded it all along this edge, all along this edge, back to here, and he welded it. Ignore this angle piece. He welded it across, straight across at the bottom edge. So that was all stick welded, and that's I think that's pretty strong. I'm not gonna not gonna let go. But I, I had made this flange already and shaped it to fit the uh, the back the slanted angle of the original Honda receiver. So I put this on top, and it's been welded all the way around to the flange all the way this way. And on top of that, I'm still incorporating the original three-quarter inch hole here where there used to be a tow ball. There used to be a tow ball here. I simply found a three-quarter inch bolt and I'm using that. That three-quarter inch bolt in this piece and putting it up this way so that I have the maximum of clearance from ground. There's room to put another flange on here to make to make a set of uh, safety chain holders. <coughs> now, you got a receiver, it's in here, it's welded, it's got an extra flange on, it's welded, not likely to come apart, and on top of that I'm using this bolt. So even if all those welds broke, this receiver that's attached here is still held in place to the original on the toe bracket by a three-quarter inch bolt. So, I don't think that's going to break. I'm more worried about the small little pieces that are on the axle here. So when this is attached in here, I'm more worried about these two brackets breaking off the axle than I am of this thing ever coming apart. Alright, so, got it all set up now so it's interchangeable. This is a two inch ball. Pull out the pin. Seven eighths. Put in the pin. Put in the snap lock and we're good to go. So let's take it back and hook it up to a couple trailers and see how that goes. Standing here putting the ball on here versus trying to get in there. Now this is a very lightweight yard trailer, but uh, okay. That was easy enough in itself. That's pretty easy too. A lot easier if I had to get it all the way into here. That, uh, that six inch extension mix makes it look quite a bit easier. Now this is a bigger, much bigger, heavier trailer and it takes a two inch ball. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so let's just get the jack out of the way first. It's a challenge in itself at times. Yeah. That wasn't too 
that. See how the quad handles it. I don't want to drive too much because the lawn's soft and I don't want to rip it up. I've only extended this a little under six inches, but it brings it out pretty much level with the license plate back of the quad here, which is a heck of a lot better than being stuck back in there. I think it's going to be good. And then you can see again, it pivots a little when you put weight on here. Anyway, it's good to go, and I think having it brought out a little bit further is going to be a lot more convenient for me and the fact that I can change tow balls. So most of the stuff I do around here on my property, I, uh, I use the 1 7 8. But when I, when I go up to the camp, I want to be able to tow my trailer, tow this. I use my, my SUV to tow my quad in the, in the trailer with a 2 inch ball. And then what I want to do is put the 2 inch ball on here and use that trailer to tow my gear into, uh, into the bush. So that's one of the main reasons for making it interchangeable. This is, I mean, there's many, there are other products on the market that are, you know, these probably better than this, maybe better, I don't know, the ones that in, wrap around the axle are probably a little bit stronger in terms of braking, but I think this is going to be good. I have to have some faith in Honda's ability to, uh, to machine these mounts on there. I mean, I've towed trailers and some pretty heavy stuff on it already, so I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. That's all I have to say about this, and hope you found it interesting, and like the video if you do, subscribe if you haven't.